Okay, take two. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 you can hear me. Look, here's the deal. I've got to do this matching peg head. Hold on there, I can't breathe. I got no air coming into my system here. I got a helmet on my hat with no air. Oi, there. Okay, now I got air. So I got to make this matching peg head match the thing that's this street jump. So look at the way the overspray is on this one. Can you see that? Um, sometimes people want that sort of a dirty overspray because you know things were done like that back in the day I don't think the fender painters back in 1950s were really trying to make it uh, super perfect all the time so there's a lot of variances anyway I gotta make this here peg head look like that and um, I'm gonna try to do it let me take the thing to my face hold on hold please Here is put this over here since I don't want to spray it, overspray it. Hopefully everything will be okay with that plan. So, I'm just throw it up. That one's already painted, cleared, and dried. And uh, there you go. So I'm going to put white blonde on this first because we're dealing with two different kinds of woods and we've got to make them look the same. So, I've never done this actually, meaning put white blonde on there, usually I just throw the yellow shade on there and go like that, but, yes, look at that, fabulous, fabulous, okay, put that right here, now I'll get my yellow shade. Put that here. Start lightly. Start on far away and add slowly. Just add slowly. Okay. Right on top of that white blonde. And I want it to look pretty vivid. Yellow. So far so good. I'm feeling okay with it. Yes, look at that. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Okay, there's that. Now, I'm going to Dark Salem the thing. Dark Salemize it. Okay. Just, uh, that almost sounded bad. <laughs> okay, there. I'm having a hard time here. First thing in the... It's not first thing in the morning, but I haven't had my break yet. Okay. See how this is taped. Tape, tape, tape. There's tape. This tape's coming up, but that's okay. Someone can clean that later. So it's a standard size burst on this thing. Not fat, not skinny. Except it is sort of a faded red, so I'll do that part later. There we go. got the burst on there in a way I think is decent but to match sort of the dirty overspray that that body has I'm going to go over the burst again but far away with the intention of kind of getting some overspray in the middle just not really that noticeable but on there okay then when it gets my water gun that I use for candy colors and transparent things. Turn the air way down, put it on beam, beam mode, 
see I gotta match that amount of red. Okay. There we go. My first pass, I put it on so light you could barely see it. Just helps me find my bearing, make sure I'm aiming in the right place. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There. I think I'm rolling with that right there. It's not perfect, but uh, kind of the imperfect of it, imperfectness of it is, is what I'm going for on this one. So there.